American Human Rights Watch has revealed that land is not being provided to Palestinians with Israeli citizenship to build houses and to increase population, which suggests that Israel is now planning to push Palestinians out of the occupied territories as well. The report said that Israeli government's policies are in favor of Jewish citizens and due to decades-long discrimination and land occupation, Palestinian citizens are forced to live in densely populated areas and villages with no space for further extension. According to the report, the Israeli government is fully supporting the expansion and development of the Jewish population and most of these settlements have been built on the Palestinian village destroyed in Nakba in 1948. The report said that Palestinians consider it their destruction because after the war thousands of Palestinians were forced out of their homes and Israeli settlements were established. Eric Goldstein, deputy director of Human Rights Watch's Middle East and North Africa division said that due to Israeli policy, Palestinians are confined to densely populated areas on both sides of the Green Line, while most of the land is available to Israelis. He said this practice is common in the occupied West Bank but now Israeli authorities are also discriminating against Palestinians with Israeli citizenship in the land issue within their country Israel. According to the report of Human Rights Watch, Palestinians are 21 percent of Israeli population, but despite this, human rights organizations in Palestine and Israel had estimated that less than 3 percent of Israel's land is available for housing to Palestinian populations. The Israeli government controls 93% of the country's land directly, including the area of occupied East Jerusalem, and the government agency Israel Land Authority oversees all the land issues. Almost half of the members of the Israel Land Authority belong to the Jewish National Fund, which has the right not to give land to anyone other than Jews, and the same agency has the right to allow the settlement of Jews and development works. In addition to this, the report said that there is a regular committee of Jews in every Jews settlement who do not allow Palestinians to enter, and they have the legal rights to do so. In a Palestinian village, the buildings were ordered to be demolished saying that they do not have permission to build and in the present situation it is impossible for Palestinians to get permission since 1948, Israel has allowed more than 900 Jewish settlements to be built on its land. Omar Shakir the director of Human Rights Watch in Palestine and Israel said that it is clear that Palestinian villages and territories have been severely restricted, and Israeli policies have now restricted them to extremely densely populated areas where there is no capacity for further construction, whereas on the contrary, Jews are being allowed permanent expansion. According to a report, 60 to 70,000 Palestinian houses built in Israel except Jerusalem are in danger of being demolished. 